All right, good evening, everyone. It's Led Zamplet here. We're hoping to actually get a game in of uh, Napoleon Total War while I'll be playing the French. I want this to be, be a series, but I've had a couple of uh, dead-end runs trying to get this series started. So hopefully uh, we're going to be able to push this through tonight by attacking Vienna. So let's jump right into it. All right. So, we are going to do a single player campaign. We want to do Europe, 1805, starting during the war, the Third Coalition. Let me pour myself a fine sun drop. France was a flame. Napoleon gave France greatness. He gave France everything. Glory, justice, and a law. Nothing was untouched. Just yes, the yes, yes. yes. British British All right, so my goal is to attack Vienna by marching down the Danube. Previously, when I had won this war, Napoleon's army, which is here in Alsace Lorraine, eastern France, marched over here, went down to Innsbruck, took Innsbruck, the Italian army took Venice, and I was able to attack Vienna from the south by crossing the Alps. This time I'm going to do a direct advance on Vienna along the Danube, supported by the, uh, hopefully, the Bavarian army. So let's go ahead and kick this off by uh, fluffing out Ney's corps, Marshal Ney. And over here we got Marshal DeVoe. We're going to reinforce him with two infantry. And then we have uh, Marshal Marat. We're going to fluff him out with uh, two infantry as well. And what I want to be able to do is build up infrastructure to at least dirt roads. Got one right here. Needs to get built. Built. It'll help my reinforcements move faster. It'll help build money. Okay, so we're pretty much out of money. So I want to focus between building infrastructure and uh, building up a military. So let's go ahead and send our spies and see what's going on over here. Before I end my turn, I've got a gentleman here that needs to... Do some research. Need him to research uh, fire in advance. We have another gentleman. Let's go to diplomatic relations now. We see. Uh, Prussia is currently hostile to me, but we're going to go ahead and build up our trade by uh, requesting trade agreements with some of these countries that are near me and not hostile to me. And you can see Germany is, is uh, deeply fractured right now between several states and uh, you know German but Germany and Italy had a hard time unifying and they didn't unify until the mid 19th century because they needed to defeat Austria ultimately that's why Prussia and Italy really or Savoy couldn't couldn't really uh, unify a lot sooner than uh, than they did all right. They actually took a lot of help from Napoleon's nephew, actually, Napoleon III, to help Italy unify. All right, what do we got here? 
We've got a war declared between the Ottomans and the Austrians. That is excellent. Now, Hanover is a deeply exposed province. What I want to be able to do is recruit two more infantry here. And, uh... I need to maximize... See, that's 200 bucks. I want that. 200 bucks in income. Hmm. I want wealth. So when these things are built, they're going to give me another grand per pop. Can I afford anything else? Yes, I can. I can afford an iron mine. All right. Let's end this turn. We should start getting our reinforcements. We can see the Wurttemberg army and the Bavarian army currently in the field. Bavarian army is engaging the Austrians and has fallen back on Munich. That's good. That's exactly that's exactly what I want the Bavarians to do is to actively engage as an ally in the Austrian force because I'm going to pivot my advance on Munich. But we'll see. I don't know. Innsbruck may be an easy target. It may be a danger on my flank, in which case I do have Massena's corps. The Senate's Corps is going to observe what's going on here across, uh, I don't know what river, valley that is. This is the Po. can't remember the name of that river. All right. I might be ready to go ahead and advance because I'm going to keep all three of my corps tight, tightly together. So we're going to go ahead and march towards... We're going to march into Württemberg. Okay, two of my corps are widely separated. These two corps, which are really division strength units. Sickeningly weak. Maraz Corps shouldn't even be out here. Why the hell did I move him out there? Okay. Alright. Alright, I want a cantonment in Strasbourg because that's going to be my major supply depot as I march deeper into Austria. I do have a concern for the Prussian army that's currently in Cleves, in Cleves Mark, which is, uh, I don't know, I guess kind of near Aachen. Um, again, Hanover being dangerously exposed to any kind of Russian, Prussian hostilities. Let's see what we could afford here. Lumber mill. Alright, we'll come back to that lumber mill. I want things that produce me money. We're going to build another college. I may be able to afford more infantry. Yeah, we want a supply post in Hanover. 
Well, let's hang on on that. Okay. Alright. We're good. Let's hit the end of the turn. Here come my reinforcements. We need to flesh out uh, Mara's core, DeVoe's core, and Ney's core. Worst comes to worst, I'll take armies, strip them down, combine them to create one huge army under Napoleon if I need to. Prussian army is on the move. We've got a Russian patrol out there. Makes me nervous. I need to keep Prussia happy. Antwerp is being raided. I'm going to deploy an army from Picardy to dislodge the enemy. More clearances. I get a lot of money for clearances. Okay, we're good. So my infrastructure is doing pretty well. We will advance no farther than Napoleon. So you can see I'm keeping all my core tightly together so they can mutually support one another. And here we are. We've now approached in the upper Danube Valley in Bavaria. And uh, we will take up position here in Salzburg to cover this bridge. And uh, if we need to, we could fall back in Bavaria. Okay, so are we good? I think we're good. Let's negotiate with uh, Prussia. Let's present. We're going to use some soft power. Oh, shit. I don't have enough money to give a gift. Whoa, Prussia is trading with me. And now they're unfriendly. Okay, so we're on better terms. I'll give you 500 bucks. Well, let's hold off on that. I'm not about to pay him. I don't trust these Prussians yet. All right, large Russian army under Tsar Alexander, I'm sure. Reinforcements are marching towards the front. Here comes the Russians. All right, Russian army is approaching, and we are prepared to meet them with battle. Okay, so the Russian army has advanced from Vienna towards Salzburg. Where the hell is he? There's the Russian army. And it may be time to combine my forces and absolutely fucking crush him. Napoleon is prepared to march on the enemy. Monsieur. 
Okay, Napoleon has formed a huge ass army. We're gonna absolutely stomp the fucking Russians. And the Russians have fallen back or retreating. He has declined the battle. So I got some stuff that got built. That's good. I got 3,200 bucks. All right, let's go ahead and recruit cavalry for you. Cavalry for you. Cavalry for you. Actually, let's cancel that. All right, how are we doing over here in Hanover? We're building up our army in Hanover. Let's continue to focus on infrastructure. Yeah, I'll buy a stud farm. Let's go ahead and build up, build up a supply post. All right, what do we got down here? We got a port. And uh, we can get a dockyard or we can get a uh, trading port. But this is Toulouse. So, or not Toulouse, but um, Toulon. So we're going to build a dockyard because this is where my navy is going to operate from. Which right now for a navy, all I got is a 32, uh, two 32 gun frigates and a... Uh, what else can we do? Can we do anything with these ports? Okay, so I gotta build up my port infrastructure. Right now I don't have a naval strategy. The Bavarian army is in the field, will probably engage the Russians in the next turn. What are the Russians gonna do now? Ooh, that's a big-ass Prussian army. The Whoa, the Bavarians have engaged the Russians and have lost that battle. The Russians have crossed into the left bank of the Danube. Napoleon is going to march out and absolutely smash them. Alright, so, this port... That's a dockyard. We need a trading port. That's a trading port. We need another trading port. Okay. What about you? You're a dockyard. Is this the only port I got on the southern coast? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, so Napoleon is now turning to engage the Russian army. And attack him from the east. Okay, these guys need to fall back. Okay, so the Bavarian army is engaged in the field. We're currently maneuvering to trap the Russian army. Let's go infiltrate them. The Russian army is completely outclassed. Holy crap, Napoleon's going to smash him. Okay, we need to flesh out Masena's army, starting with uh, two more Fusiliers, and let's go ahead and end this turn. My core are falling back.
Napoleon alone is in the field of Russians. Oh, so the Bavarians engage him. Napoleon's going to be coming onto the field. So let's fight this battle. So the Bavarian army under Kusenberg. We'll say, uh, you know, full core is probably going to be about 20,000 20, men. And that's what Napoleon has. There's about 20,000 men on the field. The Bavarians probably have only about 3,000 men on the field. And you can see him. That's not 3,000, but I'm kind of scaling it in my mind. Against a Russian army, probably about 7,000 men. So let's start this battle. I don't start it on the field. But uh, my army will begin to march on the field. Look at the Bavarians with their sky blue uniforms. I love it. They're currently coming under heavy artillery fire. Let's take a look at the Russians. Russians have plentiful artillery. We got six pounders in action. We got grenadiers. Two, two, uh, as you can say, regiments of grenadiers. Okay, Napoleon's army is beginning to march onto the field here on the right. Cavalry arrives on the field first. Beautiful cavalry. Lancers. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, moving into position on the Russian left. Enemy general is killed. Bavarian artillery has smashed him. no place good that my artillery can position itself except perhaps for here and here okay let's put my lancers in the center or excuse me my lancers on the right And Napoleon's got shit tons of artillery. Okay. Lancers are in position. Okay. We are now in position. Let's go ahead and charge my Lancers into these guns. My chasseurs, my chasseurs, my chasseurs à cheval, which are basically dragoons. Not really dragoons, just light infantry. Armed with carbines. Right now, I got my lancers. boys shooting them Kozaks down heck yeah look at them charging the Bavarians though uh. 
Lancers are jacking up their artillery. Okay, my Lancers are going to charge them from behind. Take out the rest of those grenadiers. Here they go. Boom. Charge. These grenadiers are tough. Oh shit, they're throwing grenades. Get out of there. Take your pot shots at them. Cavalry, I wish for you to wheel around and hit those grenadiers. Alright. Alright, so we smashed these grenadiers. We got enemy cavalry. These Cossacks are wheeling around. Here comes the Cossacks. What the hell are my Lancers doing? Charge them. Alright, that's it. That's the battle. My whole army has arrived on the field. End battle. All right, so we've taken, I don't think we've taken many casualties. Hmm, that's not too good. Took about 10% casualties. Mostly in my cavalry, but the German army or the Russian army is crushed. I think I'm ready and prepared to advance on the uh, advance on Austria. So let's go ahead and take Salzburg, and let's go ahead and start calling my core forward. Let's go ahead and collect a core under Marshal May. And let's get you guys fluffed out with two more infantry. So Marshal May is going to advance towards Salzburg, and I'm going to allow my other core to flesh themselves out back here. It's a new strategy. Let's see how it works out. In the meantime... Let's continue to uh, let's see what can you do. How are we doing on okay, so Liege? So I got a school. Oh my god, I didn't even have them in the right spot. Okay, and I need you to go to Liège. Which is... Liège should be here. Okay, that's Amien. Where the fuck is Liège? Here it is. Alright. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so, got 600 bucks left. Napoleon is marching, has marched on Salzburg and occupied it. Marshal Ney is advancing. 
And I want to go ahead and redeploy some artillery. It's early April, 1805. Major Austrian army. Ho! Oh, we got a battle, boys. First major, major battle. All right, I'm glad I didn't redeploy. I got plenty of artillery. Got plenty of cavalry. This looks like an even matched battle. Battle of Salzburg, 1805. Oh, this is going to be an epic battle. All right. Let's get our artillery sighted. We've got a wall here. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful defensive position. Look at this. I got this fencing. I'm going to post my light infantry against that. This protects against cavalry. Okay. Oh my god, this is a beautiful, beautiful setup. Okay. My artillery can deploy here. Should be able to fire over the heads of infantry deployed in a line there. This is a good spot for artillery here. So that, that's a good artillery spot. This is a good spot for artillery. Okay, I got three gun batteries. I got a grand battery here. We're gonna post a gun battery here. I'm gonna support. General Napoleon needs to take cover. I don't know where I need him to take cover. I can take cover in there. Alright. I want my light infantry to advance on this left flank. Oh, well. We're going to post this division, or brigade here, we are going to deploy this brigade in reserve, these two brigades, we're going to post these two brigades on the left. Got, uh, I want Lancers. I want my Chauvet, my uh, Chasseurs on the flank that's well covered. Should probably be here. A lot of fences. So I'm going to want them on the left. My Lancers, on the other hand, I want them on the right because it looks like we got clear field to uh, charge the enemy on the right flank. So I'm going to post my Lancers here. We got... Uh, I want this uh, brigade here. I 
I want 4th Brigade here. I want that brigade in the center. I don't have a lot of infantry. Most of his infantry is going to be advancing on my center. Okay. So I think we're ready. So let's go ahead and begin the battle. Here comes the Austrians advancing. I need your I need my light infantry to move their asses. The enemy is about to slam into my right. I need to cover my artillery. shot is just plowing into them. Oh shit, direct artillery. Um, 7th Regiment's taking heavy artillery fire. I think I want to engage in counter battery fire. My light infantry is now engaged. I have no reserves. Okay, this brigade, I wish for you to advance and push them out, and I want my cavalry. I wish for my lancers to charge the enemy guns. Shot him. Okay, great, great shot. Austrians are breaking through. Advance on the right. The enemy's breaking through my front. They're breaking. Heavy fighting. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Where the fuck is Napoleon? Get back here. I need you guys to withdraw. Push them back. Fucking blast them, dude. Great. How are we doing here on the left? Crush the enemy cavalry. Oh, I 
can't toggle square formation. How are we doing over here? These Germans are fighting doggedly hard. I need you to advance on the left. You guys, I need you to continue to hammer that artillery. Voltigeres, advance. Oh, man, I'm running, sir. Who's running? Enemy generals killed. Charge them out. What are you doing? Destroy those Austrian. Who's running? Who's running? I don't know who's running. Come on, run them down. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. These Austrians are still. Here, grape them. Fire grape into them. Man, I've taken heavy casualties. Good battle. One of our units has used all its submissions, sir. Okay, that should be the end of the battle. Keep running the Austrians off. Okay, we have crushed the Austrian army. Excellent work. Great job, man. Our artillery has gained... That was a heroic victory. Let's see what our casualty rate is. That was a pyrrhic victory. We've lost a lot of men. I'm going to have to fall back to Strasbourg. So that was an excellent battle. We destroyed the Austrian army, but... We took a lot of casualties. We took 65% casualties against the Austrians. But their army is essentially decimated. And what I can do is chase his ass down and destroy him. Research and that. Um, I want to keep Prussia very happy with me. Then again, what I want to be able to do is let's see. 
Austria is currently at war with my South German allies. What's Masina's Corps doing here? Piedmont is mine. He's got, what, two armies on the way? Let's recruit more infantry for you. As for Napoleon, I think I may want to chase down this Prussian army under Wegman and destroy it. So let's, uh, let's combine some of my infantry units here. Retire these back with uh, Ney's Corps, which is going to hang out in camp in Munich. And we're going to send our casualties back. He's going to need artillery. Send these Lancers back. And I think we're pretty good with infantry. Let's go ahead. What does this guy got? He's got nothing but casualties. Let's go ahead and wipe out this Austrian army. I don't want a chance for his infantry to recuperate back at Vienna. We're going to eliminate this enemy once and for all. Well, my Voltigas in front. And, uh... Want all three of my artillery batteries to advance, escorted by the cavalry. Okay, I want to organize a single brigade here with my light infantry in advance of it. And, uh,. We'll keep another brigade out here on the left. And General Napoleon will hang out back here with the artillery. We good? All right, let's wipe them out. I want a general advance. Second corps or second brigade, I want you to advance on the left. Let's get my artillery up here. Escorted by the cavalry. General Napoleon advance to here. Right now the Austrians are just hanging out. Currently have a uh, regiment of infantry. Uh, about a battalion size element of Grenzers. Battalion of Landschutzen. And a... Uh, squadron of chevaliers basically armed with carbines my my army is advancing light infantry in the front and my infantry led by general napoleon Look at Napoleon. I am the revolution. I'm 
Whoa, pause. Oh my god, who's that running in back? He's hitting my artillery! A son of a bitch! Damn, them sons of bitches hit my artillery train! Dang, good job. I wasn't paying attention, I was too busy blabbering. Advance immediately and crush them at all costs. How much artillery did I fucking lose? Desperate charge by the... Man, I saw my artillery escort and everything and they still got charged out by the Chevaliers. Austrians are on the move now. What the fuck are they doing? Charge them out! Do not let him attack my artillery. Oh, shit. Halt the artillery. What are you doing? Get my artillery back. Taking some casualties here. Charge these dudes out. Run them out. Should be battle, isn't it? Okay, these Austrians, they're wiped out. I still took some casualties there. My artillery got nailed. 10% casualties. Okay, I wish for Napoleon to withdraw. We've got to reform our army. Keep building infrastructure. Okay. It is now late April, 1805, in the spring. Jeez, I got another spy. Let's send this spy into uh, Vienna. 
What else have we got as far as agents? Okay. All right. We're good. Napoleon is withdrawn. Ney's Corps is moving in to support Napoleon's withdrawal to Bavaria. Then the turn. We got Massena receiving reinforcements. Austrians wish for peace. Yeah. I'm not a man. Okay. So there's refried beans and, and the meat. Okay. And tortillas on the countertop. All right. Please put away whatever you don't eat. Okay. Will do. Except for the beans. They're Except crap. for the beans. They're crap. Yeah, I could like toss them away. Okay, I love you. Even the meat. That's over, it's a week old, so. Okay, it's old meat. Okay. That's fine. I, I don't need any cheese. Love you. Oh, my wife just cooked for me steak burritos. So, after we conquer Austria, it is meal time. Austrians are wishing for peace. I am not sure I want to give them that right now. I want more than that. I um, demand indefinite military access so I can crush the... You know what? I'll give you a peace treaty. If you do a trade embargo on Russia and Britain. Okay. Well, I'm going to kick your ass if you're not going to accept that treaty. Looks like the Italian states have a large army and they're prepared to use it. Austria is feeling hard pressed with uh, the Ottomans breathing down their neck. They're currently at war with the Ottoman Empire. Okay. Building a larger dockyard. We're going to use Ney's core. Go ahead. And attack Innsbruck. And secure this flank. Position. Three brigades. And a couple places where the enemy can hide out. 
But uh, I'm gonna keep uh, this brigade hard on the right. Napoleon will stay covered. This brigade will cover the right. Keep the cavalry here. What is that? That's Shazor, so we'll let them skirmish. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Most dangerous enemy here on the field is this uh, these German fusiliers. Right now the enemy is marching towards me and I'll let him do that. Help him out by advancing here in this defilade. So when they crest that hill, it'll take a buttload of fire. Okay, this brigade, 4th brigade, is cleared to advance here on the right. Let's go ahead and move my cavalry here. My lancers, let's put them into a uh, okay. Here come the uh, here comes the enemy. enemy. We'll blast a hole into him with artillery fire. Move in the position. Our men are ready, sir. Got heavy fire on the right. Both guns, pound them. Here, get on their left. Or on their right. Okay, I need you guys to skirmish with them. If 
advance and fire. Do you guys know what that means? Advance and fire, please. Charge him out on the right, on the left. My artillery should be able to pound a fucking fire at him. I need both of you to break the enemy right. The most dangerous adversary on the field are those German grenadiers. Charge them. No. Dang, my cavalry held them off. All right, begin your general advance on the enemy, sweep them from the field. out of the town, clean the streets, open fire. Watch this. Fire! They're breaking. These Austrians are falling. Reposition yourself, fall back. Enemies regrouping. Okay, the Austrians are gone. Enemy's charging me. Charge them out, Lancers. Great victory, Marshal Ney, at Innsbruck. These Fusiliers are holding, though. Just a reinforced battalion. They're about to break. Innsbruck is ours. A heroic victory. Marshal Ney, though, suffered about 40% casualties. Uh-oh, we got a sound bug. Let's go ahead and save this game. Early May.
Old Guard. May 1805. Okay, I'm going to exit the windows because we do have a noise bug. And get right back in the game. Okay, let's continue our campaign. Should be May 1805. Yep, alright, so we're good. We're repairing uh, the cantonment in Innsbruck. We have successfully occupied. Okay, Napoleon's core is fleshing out. I think we're good. So let's end this turn. We've got reinforcements heading to Massena's core in northern Italy. See what the Russians do. Okay. New nation arrives. What new nation? Romania. Well, let's see what these Romanians, if they're willing to trade, but they can't. can we do here? Innsbruck needs some repairs. And uh, I could use another gunsmith down here. But I'm also interested in growing rich. Innsbruck is going to be another depot for fighting at the front. How's my army doing? They're fleshing back out. Napoleon is fleshing back out. Okay. Let's go ahead and recruit some artillery for them. These are going to be small corps. I'm going to need them as an army of observation for uh, keeping Prussia at bay and Cleves Mark. Okay. Let's end this turn. Bavaria is on the move. Holy shit, I just noticed I had a huge fleet. Uh oh, Italians are on the move. I'm going to position Masena's core here. Um, on the ball. Du 
he may be able to assist in a battle over there. Meantime, I've got this giant ass French fleet here. Let's uh let's position my fleet here at Brest. And let's go ahead and start recruiting Let's go ahead and start recruiting some ships. Some trading ships. Okay. I need more money. An army marches on its stomach. Napoleon's army is fleshing out pretty well. Ney's army is doing well. Um, Masena is positioned. We'll see what happens. A lot of Austrians in Venice. Austrians want peace again. I am counter offering. I want a trade embargo on Great Britain. Whoa! So the Austrians agree to peace. Okay, so I'm now at peace with Austria. I want to take this opportunity to focus. Now I'm going to use a restroom. I may uh, attack Italy now with Fran uh, Austria currently at peace with me. Stand by, I'm going to use a restroom. Okay, so we're back here in this game, a Napoleon Total War. My army, Masena's army is now withdrawn. And uh, we are going to move him here into northern Italy. Napoleon will begin moving his army into northern Italy. And uh, we're going to keep uh, Bavaria.
is there not a way to ask them to become peaceful with Austria? Because if they get into trouble, I'm going to declare war on Austria. Nay's Corps is going to remain up here in... Uh, I'm going to send two regiments to join Napoleon. Along with the cavalry squadron. What I want to be able to do is request access to the Papal States. Pope, I request military access for five turns. I request military access for five turns Can I? No. I want military access from you for 10 turns. Let's present a state gift. Now. Am I going to have to declare war against the Papal States? I may have to. Who are they allied with? You're allied with the Kingdom of Italy. Shit. Okay, I need a fleet. going to take one, two, three, four turns to embark Napoleon on that fleet. My intention is to launch an invasion of Naples. And let's recruit you. Let's recruit you some cavalry. This is Bernadotte's core, Bernadotte's army in Hanover. Okay, send this turn. Italians were defeated near Venice. Looks like they're launching another invasion of Austria. Oui? We're going to send Massena down the right side of... Uh, right side of the boot of Italy and we're going to position Napoleon we're going to be prepared to invade the Papal States let's both of you recruit cavalry get yourself some guns one more two more infantry And that should be good. The Italians are going to take another stab at uh, Venice.
Italians were defeated again. Shit. I'm going to respect the peace. Italians are falling back. Looks like the Württemberg is on the move. Ooh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so. Wait a minute. I don't want to invade the Papal States. I want to keep peace. I am at war with Naples. Masena will remain an army of observation. Napoleon's going to Ah, dithering here. Dithering, dithering. You need another infantryman. All right, here we go. Major Russian fleet. That's a big Austrian army in there. Led by Teshin. We're gonna keep uh we're gonna keep Masena's car observing. Napoleon's gonna sail by himself with his army. What's he got? He's got a big enough army to take on the Neapolitans. All right, let's start building up my road infrastructure. Okay, so I'm building up my road infrastructure, continuing to improve France's ability to support war. It's in this turn. What's that Russian fleet doing? Gauche, 
Okay, I wish to combine the Toulon fleet. We have a major French fleet under Admiral Villeneuve. And we are going to... We're going to take Naples. Let's save scum. Okay. Napoleon is now en route to Naples, where we are going to claim the Neapolitan crown and make my brother king of Naples. It's all right, and the, the Italians are still going to make another go at it against uh, Austrian held Venice. That's a big ass fucking army. All right, Napoleon, let's do it. See what the Neapolitan army does. I don't know what that Russian fleet's doing. It's making me nervous. Okay, then we got a pretty even battle here against the Neapolitans. We're going to fight primarily a defensive battle here. He's got a lot of infantry. Woof, this is going to be a tough battle. It's the riskiest that Napoleon's ever done. Let's fight it. I save scummed. Paolo Tucci and General. Ernesto Amoroso. Okay, there's a Neapolitan army. Gonna take up defensive positions. Monsieur, Monsieur, troop, démonter l'avant-train. Artillery. I want this brigade here. I want this brigade here. This brigade here and a general reserve here and Voltigares here, and then I've got two, I've got a cavalry brigade here, and I think we're ready to start this battle. Can you see? You guys got good artillery sighting? I think so. Alright, let's start this battle. Oh, Napoleon's way the fuck out here. So let's get Napoleon here. Let's begin this battle. 
All right, so we got enemy troops that are advancing onto the field. We got another enemy army. We're going to defeat them in detail. So let's go ahead and march my light infantry up ahead. And my artillery guns will go ahead and start pounding these Neapolitans. Wow, they're marching so slow. Got Neapolitan regular infantry. Okay, the enemy is advancing on my right. you to limber your artillery and let's reposition first brigade on the left and uh, let's position you into reserves reposition the artillery Reposition my reserves. That means it's got a lot of cavalry. Shit, this is not good. Stakes. Okay, so I've laid stakes out. First Brigade, we'll Second Brigade reposition. Light infantry is in action. Reposition. We got enemy cavalry coming. Get ready to form a. fire on the enemy, pound them with artillery, form squares, got infantry squares formed up, our men are running sir, okay they're attacking my squares, Okay, we're running off enemy who's ours. Squares holding, hold the square. Very good, alright. We got enemy cavalry. Hold the square. All right, reform, reform. Enemy infantry still advancing. Artillery. 
This militia is holding out well. Taking a lot of casualties from them. Okay, go ahead. Second division. Advance. Open fire on them. Point blank range. Ready? Fire! Okay, reform, reform. Hit the line infantry. Third brigade form up here. Defeating the enemy in detail. Comes the enemy, open fire. Fire. got full line of battle defeat the enemy in detail let's move my cavalry up here on the left Cavalry's moving up on the enemy left. Cavalry's engaged on the left. Let's switch your fire to that line infantry. I want both my guns to concentrate their fire. We got enfilading artillery fire. Do not miss that opportunity to wipe them out. Fire, boys. Good hit. Good fucking hit. Look at that. Got him running. Keep hitting them with enfilading fire. Get that cavalry to fall back. Keep hitting them with artillery. Refuse that flank. I need to refuse this flank. Fall back. Okay, 
Okay, we are falling back. The enemy is positioning himself on my flank. There's not much of these guys left. They gotta be falling back. Okay, they're falling back. Alright, wish for 2nd Brigade to reposition yourself. Flank is refused. Take some pot shots at them, please. back. I just want you to harass him. Okay, here they come. Wish for my artillery to just pile artillery onto them. What a beautiful battle, dude. Okay, we're pounding them with artillery. Let's harass this line infantry. Enemy is breaking apart. Let's refuse this flank. We've got... Keep this, these guys in reserve. Whoa, we got heavy enemy artillery blasting my infantry. Shit. I'm under heavy artillery fire. First Grenadier Regiment is taking heavy casualties. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Let's break the enemy's left. Keeping up the enemy left, clearing them out. I want my artillery to focus fire on them. Our men are running, sir! Oh, shit. Good job, though. You broke the enemy flank. Are they out of ammo? Come on, guys. They've already broken once. They should break easily now. Return to this. Our men are running, sir. Ah, damn counter battery fires. Let's take them out. Let's do some mechanic counter battery fire. Your brigade, I wish for you to reposition.
break them all. General Napoleon, I would need you to get your ass out there. Our men are running, sir! Shit. Very, very tight battle. Charge him out. Our men are running, sir. Shit. I'm out of ammo. I'm fucking out of ammo. I'm about to lose this goddamn battle. Dudes, break them. Hit them with grape. this battle. Napoleon lost this fucking battle. Mother Great. I lost this battle. Man, I lost all my guns. Come 
Come on, open fire with grape. Okay, everyone retreat. Let's quit the battle. Close defeat. Napoleon was defeated in his invasion of Neapolitan or Naples and took an enormous amount of casualties. So we're going to reboard. And that was an unsuccessful invasion of the enemy. So we're going <laughs> to send our fleet back. That was not good. That was a tight battle. That was a good battle, but uh, the Neapolitan army defeated Napoleon. Defeated me. Okay, so at least I don't have to pay the maintenance. Where is Napoleon, anyway? Is he back in Paris? He's recuperating. General Napoleon is recuperating. Man, I lost a lot of shit. Alright, so... Let's begin to work on our infrastructure again. Okay, we're at work with plenty of roads. All right, what else are we going to do here? What can we do in Paris? Is any of our merchant ships complete? Alright, we are going to go ahead and open up some trade down here. And I'm going to escort you with a 38 gun frigate. Let's see, it is 11.45. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. I appreciate you guys watching. Napoleon was just defeated in his invasion of Naples. And uh, it may be to my advantage to perhaps threaten Austria because that was a hard defeat that I just took right there. Man, hard defeat. Napoleon lost his entire army. Okay. What are my richest regions? Toulouse. Uh, let's save that money. Okay, let's go ahead and end this. This is um, Old Guard September. All right. Very good. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. We will be back later in continuing our conquest of Europe in Napoleon Total War.